Hello, my name is Iveta. I was born in 1973 in a small town in Latvia. I grew up listening to all kinds of fairy tales, Latvian and Russian fairy tales, Brothers Grimm, Pushkin, but probably most important of all, the fairy tales that my grandmother used to tell me almost every night. My dad loved reading fairy tales to me as well, and he always chose the most beautiful illustrated books to read. And then one day we bought a record player and I suddenly had access to so many more fairy tales from all over the world. My favorite record was uh, that of Alice in Wonderland. I would put on big bulky Soviet headphones on my head and I would immediately disappear into a completely different world. That particular record had a really unique combination of uh, music and narration and it would immediately take you away. I would close my eyes and immediately imagine, find myself in a, a completely new world, in a wonderland. And then we would take fairy tales outside and every summer my friends and I would build uh, sandcastles and roads for our flower fairies. And we spend a lot of time drawing fairy tales. Um, scenes from fairy tales and different fairy tales creatures uh, both at home and in preschool. And this is when I ran into some problems. At one point I realized that my preschool teachers were not happy with me being so intensely focused on uh, fairy tales and uh, drawing princess and fairies all the time when all the other kids were drawing uh, more realistic Soviet life. For example, hydroelectric stations and tractors and uh, collective farms. So they had to speak with my parents and my parents had to speak with me and ask me to be more cooperative and uh, to follow teacher's instructions and uh, to draw what she asks us to do. And I said, fine, of course, I can try to do that. I can be more cooperative. And uh, with my best intentions, I went to school the next day. It was raining outside. And when we came to preschool and the lesson started, the teacher asked us to draw the rain. And I thought, ha, huh, this is so easy. And I immediately got to work and I drew a fairy holding an umbrella with raindrops falling on it. My teacher was so angry and upset with me. Uh, when my parents came to pick me up that evening, she stormed up to them with a drawing in her hand uh, as a proof of my disobedience. And she said, why can't she be just like all the other kids? And uh, I stood there quietly, really scared, not really sure what to think and what will happen next. And I looked at my parents and my parents stood there quietly for a second. They looked at each other and they, they suddenly burst out laughing. And at that moment, I knew that it was my small victory. I realized that there was still a space for fairy tales and fairies in my socialist childhood. Thank you.